it in back with another video and today you guys as y'all read by that title i'm going to be cooking a little something something and i know it's been a while i'm about to upload the uh, mukbang that me and zoe did so that'll be coming before this video and then i have a little surprise for y'all because guess who's back kaiser okay so i'm gonna post that video too so i'm just gonna be trying to post all these videos back to back to try to keep up where i left off because i feel like this month i really wasn't doing i wasn't really consistent in the beginning of the month and i believe it's the seventh let me check it's the seventh so i'm a week late into the month but your girl's gonna bounce back okay so today y'all i'm gonna be showing y'all how i kind of make hibachi i kind of forgot how i made it because i used to I, I used to make it like a long time ago maybe like a year and a half ago when me explained stay in like the apartment but i'm gonna try to you know show y'all how i make at home hibachi y'all know this quarantine stuff you can't go to no hibachi you can't go in and eat it and oh i love hibachi and me and my family love hibachi so i'm gonna cook some today homemade hibachi if y'all want to keep watching keep watching because it's about to get lit period okay so i'm gonna tell y'all what y'all need first first you need some rice cook your rice and then let it sit for like an hour i cooked my rice already it's like i just cooked it because i wanted to cook it before i start doing anything else so i'm gonna cook it and then i might put it in the refrigerator so i can get a little cold so it can get hard i want you want to cook the rice because excuse my nails y'all I know I just got them done. I'm going back to short nails. I can't deal with these long nails. I said I missed them, but I didn't. I could, ugh. Anyways, so you cook your rice. After letting your rice cool off, you put it in the refrigerator because you don't want to cook rice while it's hot with the eggs because it's gonna. you want to make your shrimp fried rice. And you know, it make the rice all mushy and everything, so no. So cook your rice. After you let it sit for a little while, put it in the fridge for like an hour boom so after that what i'm gonna use is and i kind of had to make do what i had to make do with because a lot of the stuff is not in stores but that's either here or there so i got some shrimp y'all i got some onions i got some zucchini i got some slap your mama i got some steak i really want filet mignon but y'all did have this these the only type of like little fillets that i wanted because i feel like the other steak would have been dry and these are like tender fillets but they have bacon wrapped around it which i'm just gonna take the bacon off and cut these up so i got three of them boom to just take the bacon off cut them up and that's gonna be my steak because you know hibachi when me and spray go to hibachi we either get steak and shrimp we never get chicken but i always cook chicken so we're gonna make steak, shrimp, and chicken hibachi with shrimp fried rice. So I also got chicken breast right here. And then I got some soy sauce. I got some teriyaki sauce. I also got more soy sauce, soy sauce. <laughs> And then y'all, I usually never ever get this butter, but they didn't have plain garlic butter in the stores. So I had to, had to, had to, had to get this butter because I was not going to another store. But this is like butter and it says, as long as it got garlic in it, I wanted garlic butter by itself. But I hope, I never cooked it with this, but I hope, you know, it tastes, it's just as good as garlic butter. So I got like butter right here. And yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. Garlic butter, your shrimp, your chicken, your teriyaki sauce, your soy sauce, because you don't cook a lot of stuff with soy sauce. Y'all know the little Japanese people be whipping it up with the soy sauce and all that. So I'm going to try my best to do what I can do. So make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Right now what I'm going to do is wash all my meat, put them on a separate plate. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to show y'all that. I'm gonna put my rice in the fridge, probably in a bowl, so that could be sitting to the side, getting warm. So let's do it, let's get it. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Ooh, period. Here's my rice, gonna put it in the fridge. Chicken, it's a cut chicken. <sighs>
so everything is prepped now. I got zucchini and onions right here on one plate because that's getting cooked together. I got the chicken. It's a lot of chicken. I got a lot of chicken on the steak. Should have got more steak. I got the steak right here. I got the eggs cracked when the rice, when I cook it with the rice. And then I got the shrimp over there. So we're pretty much ready to start actually cooking stuff. The rice has been in the fridge for a while. And I think it's actually ready. It's still a little hot though. This is what it looks like. I think it's like ready enough. Oh yeah, it's ready enough. So we ready, we ready to get a crack of that in, okay? Okay, you guys, so I'm not gonna go into details because everything you guys can pretty much see me doing. Um, so I already cooked my eggs. Now I'm gonna put some garlic butter inside of the pan, inside the rice. So I'm gonna put garlic butter, rice, and eggs, and put soy sauce inside of the rice. So keep watching. Then I'm gonna add like a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Um, I feel like the soy sauce has a very, very strong taste. So I don't have to season it that much in order for it to get that taste or some type of flavor. So yeah. So here I'm taking my soy sauce and just going crazy with it. It's no specific amount of soy sauce you want to put in it. You don't want to put too much, but I just kind of like eyeball it, make sure all my rice is brown. I didn't clean the pan or anything like that. I just kind of started cooking some seasoning, like the seasoning pack, just to put in the rice to give it some more flavor. Don't judge me. I know I'm 
all over the place, but it's gonna come together. Okay, so the first thing I start cooking is you're gonna make all your meat with the garlic butter. I feel like it just gives it that that taste. So first thing I'm gonna start making is my chicken, and I'm just gonna put it in the pan with a whole bunch of garlic butter, season it just a little bit, not too much, because like I said, y'all gonna put something else, a little special sauce on it. So you don't, you don't need too much seasoning, okay? When I put my chicken to the side, then I'm going to start to cook my steak. Everything has to be kind of cooking at the same time to me or one thing is going to get cold. So I started cooking my chicken and trust me y'all, I washed off my, my blue thing because I know y'all like, oh cross contamination, cross contamination. I'm doing everything with this, little, this one little stick but rinse it off please. So I put my steak in there, seasoned it a little bit with garlic butter, let that heat up, do its thing, let it cook. Okay, now that you've let your chicken, your steak cook, y'all gonna go in with teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce, guys, this is where all the flavor is coming in. This is where the good stuff is coming in in the teriyaki sauce. Make sure you put it inside of your chicken and on your steak. One thing I didn't record myself making was the strip, you guys. And I literally just, like put the shrimp in a pot and just cook my shrimp season them and everything and then I put some butter on them of course some garlic butter and then I went in with some soy sauce so I put soy sauce on my shrimp I put garlic butter on my shrimp and I just cooked them sauteed them in a pot
zucchini and onions make sure you just put some soy sauce on it and cook that shit up fry like you know saute it put some butter in it so now here i am here to show y'all the finished product kai's in the background because he ready to eat this is what it looks like it was kind of like all kind of mixed up guys this is what the plate is looking like we're gonna get splain and kai's to test it out but yes honey Yes, honey, let me put some light on it. The chicken sandwich still good? Uh, what chicken sandwich? From Popeye. I don't know. Oh, you look good right there. Uh, hey, pay attention to this. <laughs> Food. Oh, Lord. Salty? All right, they do it. Could it be cooked longer? Cause are like, I'm gonna go. Hurry up and tell your review. It actually good. Oh, you were surprised? No, 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 no. I got some different shrimp. See if you like those shrimp. I feel like those are those shrimp that people at the hibachi eat. Uh, I'm gonna go get you some. You like it? Hold the camera. And I almost dropped it. And record yourself. Tell people over here. What's good, y'all? It was too cute, and you had to take a picture of it. Because, wait, 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 wait. You told me to eat it. I mean, you told me to eat it to get the review. But you could have said, hold on, let me take a picture. Here, take a picture. Go ahead. Take a snap. All right, you guys, so this is Cosmic Life. And I think he's liking it. I don't know if he's playing with it or if he's liking it. How is it, Tootie? Definitely think he's playing with it. It is. It is. Yeah, scoop it up and do this. Watch you not go like that. Mmm. And this is mine. And that's Flames. Almost done. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. I made a mess in the kitchen, y'all. Mm -hmm.